So welcome people of God. I want to release over you the prophetic word for the month of March. And the word that God gave me was the word movement. Now movement is also one of the words that we actually as a house decreed over this year because it was one of our 17 prophetic declarations. When God started to speak to me late last month about the word movement, God was very precise in the fact that this is to be specific movement. And the scripture that God used when he talked to me about movement was 1 Samuel 17, which is the story of David and Goliath. So the movement that God talked to me about in that passage was not the movement of Goliath. It was not the movement of David, but it was the movement of the stone. <laughs> it was the movement of the stone that David literally threw at Goliath with the slingshot. The Lord said to me that with that act of faith, there was a demonstration of power, that this was not natural strength. David was not just that strong. The Bible actually talks about David being a small guy. And Goliath, as we know in the Bible, was a giant. He was a champion. That is how he is introduced to us. So the Lord talked to me about the demonstration of power that was with the stone. The demonstration of power that was with the stone. And this demonstration of power was the force of movement that actually killed Goliath. And so listen to me, people of God. When God started to talk to me about the word movement, it wasn't just around, or it wasn't at all around the word March. I know that March itself signifies movement. It is a word of movement. But the Lord started to talk to me specifically because this month is the end of the first quarter of 2022. This month is the end of the first quarter of 2022. And so the question before you is, as we end this first quarter, where have you seen movement in your prayers, in your petitions, in your pleas? Where have you seen movement in your new year plan? Where have you seen movement in any of the declarations? Where have you seen movement in your posture with the Lord? Listen, if you are, as we are entering into this third month, this, the end, the end of the first quarter, if you have not seen the performance that you have been praying for, if you have not seen any movement at all, people of God, it is time for you to have the posture where you are speaking to your situation and you are speaking specific movement. You are literally hurling your words at that situation the way that David hurled that stone at Goliath. Your words will have a demonstration of power this month that you've never seen before. Your words will have a demonstration of power this month that you've never seen before. Can you actually can think about the act of faith, the stretching that it took for David and, and the fact that he's coming up against a giant with what just looks like a toy, a stone. As a matter of fact, Goliath taunted him because of what David had. He, he, he taunted David with the actual weapons that David were go was going to use. Your situation is not hopeless. Your situation is not bigger than your words. Your situation is not mightier than your words. It is not people of God. And you are like never before to hurl your words at that situation and demand movement. You are speaking movement. That is the word that you are throwing at your situation. You are speaking movement in your finances. You are speaking movement in your situation. You are speaking movement in anything that is against your body. You are speaking movement with anything that is against your family. You are speaking movement. That is the word that you are literally throwing at your Goliath. You have looked at how big it is. You have looked at how long it has been taunting and tormenting you. You have said, I've tried everything under the sun. You are going to literally, for the next 31 days, we're not backing up off this word, no matter what else I decree over this house the rest of this month, our posture for this month is a month of movement. Every time fear tries to creep in, every time worry tries to creep in, every time you hear hopelessness, every time helplessness tries to come against you, you are going to speak movement. Even against those principalities, you are going to speak movement. 
There will be no distractions. There will be no disturbances. There will be no delay. There will be no denial this month over you, says the Lord. You are to speak movement, morning, noon, and night movement. If you're crying, speak movement. If you're tired, speak movement. When you're excited, speak movement. Enjoy, speak movement. But I want you to speak to that situation and you are to decree at the name of Jesus that it is to move and you need to tell it specifically how you need it to move. The Bible tells us in 1 Samuel 17 that David said to Goliath, you come to me with all your weapons, right? With your sword, but I come to you in the name of the Lord. David said, today the Lord will conquer you. Today the Lord will conquer you. It is a matter of now, people of God. David said in verse 47, and everyone here will know that the Lord rescues his people. You are his people. You are. Listen, <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah. Verse 50 says, so David triumphed over the Philistine with only a sling and a stone. Glory to God. It, listen, you have no idea the level of anointing and momentum that is on the word movement right now. And I decree and declare to you the word of the Lord. I stand in faith and agreement with you. As a house, we are collectively standing together and for every giant, that we are right now facing, we speak movement. You are to speak specific movement. And you shall, like David, see the Lord triumph for you.